everybody are talking about something here. Everybody in <laughs> Everybody in town is talking about something. That you are with another man. You must tell the truth. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Where I'll talk about men's fashion and vintage fashion. So today is another episode of History of Fashion. And we're going to talk about the history of the fashion of the 1940s. The 40s are important because were the years of the end of the World War II, 1945. In those days austerity was even in fashion. The World War has influenced those years so much that in women's fashion there were some similarities on the lines of, of the clothing that we can find in men's fashion. Were the years where fashion changed before 1945 and after 1945. Swing was popular but jazz Boogie Woogie and Lindy Hope were the most popular dances in this period. Men's fashion includes a few colors, white shoulders, the famous fedora hat and ties with geometric designs and stripes. Were used high-waisted tall pants like in the 30s with a shirt that was usually white and a tie of any color. In this period the functionality wins over elegance. The fabrics were similar to military clothing. The fabrics are poorer and the clothes are simpler. Straight lines, square heads and tailor suits are preferred. The opposite piece of clothing in this period was the zoot suit that was made of very bright colors. Suspenders could be elastic or cloth. Those accessories could be different in colors or styles in the fashion of the 40s. The federal hat remained the most air for men's fashion. The other popular felt hat of the 1940s was the Hamburg. Suits were used for all the events of a normal everyday routine and they were used a few colors like black, brown, gray and blue navy. The trench coat and the wool coat were very used and the Hawaiian Aloha shirt featuring unpainted tropical scenes, birds and flowers were introduced after the war. The Oxford shoes were the most used shoes but an alternative for a casual wear were used moccasin style loafers, sandals for summer and sneakers for sports. Tall or short lace-up sneakers looked like Converse shoes today with a thicker sole. So now that we know a little bit about the history of fashion of the 1940s, I will show you the outfit that I'm wearing. Ah, it's all thrifted, the cap, the jacket, those pants and the tie. So I will show you the outfit. For my 1940s outfit, I decided to wear my uh, red and yellow tie that I thrifted two months ago. Also, I'm wearing my white collar shirt with a brown jacket on it. I'm wearing my uh, thrifted pants also. And I'm wearing also this fedora hat, this brown fedora hat from Barbizio. I will leave the link to their page below. Vintage thrifted trousers, I decided to wear my Oxford shoes, my old Oxford shoes, yes I have to buy some new ones because those are really old, they have like 5 years or 6 years, 
so I have to change them. 